In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to do the incline bench press. So it's something you've probably done a lot, but I'm gonna go over some important details that you may or may not know. So first I'm gonna show you a few reps and then I'll break down the technique for you. Okay, so let's talk about that. The first thing that needs to happen is proper setup. If you're on a dedicated incline bench, not a power rack like this with a, a bench that you move back and forth, that's gonna be easier setup. You just wanna make sure when you lay back that your eyes are roughly underneath the bar. And the reason is, if they're not, when you take the weight off, you might hit these, these things here where you rack the weight. And you don't want that to happen, especially if you have a lot of weight on the bar. So if you don't have a dedicated incline bench and you have something like this at home or even at the gym, again, you want to make sure that the bench is set up, that when you lay down, your eyes are underneath the bar. So when you're in this position, you want to make sure this middle knurling is in the middle. If it's off to the side, it's gonna be a problem because the weight's gonna be uneven. After you get your eyes underneath the bar and the weight is in the middle, you're gonna get your grip on the bar. The way I've figured out my grip is I put my thumbs right at the edge of this rough part called the knurling. And that's where I know I get the best position when I'm down here. So after I get that, I'm going to pull my shoulder blades together. Now that's hard to see, but if you can squeeze your shoulder blades together, that's how it feels. And you wanna take the time to squeeze your shoulder blades back and down and pin them on the bench. What that's gonna do, there's, there's a little bit of controversy about that, but this is powerlifting style. What I find is less stress on my shoulder and I'm able to handle more weight. It's a more stable position. So after you do that, now it's time to talk about leg drive, so leg position. What you want is your feet pressing into the ground. Now power lifters will do this. I'm not a power lifter, so you'll have to watch a different video from a power lifter to get into the exact position they do. But what I do is I put my feet into the ground and I push into the ground. But what this is doing is it's creating a stable base. The, the uh, strength coach, Charles Polican said, you can't fire a cannon from a canoe. And what that means to me is, you gotta have a, a nice stable position to explode from, to lift from. So that's what all this does, very important. After you do that, what you're gonna do is make sure that after you take the bar off, that your forearm stays underneath the bar, you don't want it this way or that way. And you also don't want your wrist to do this. I used to have wrist pain when I was bench pressing and it took me a long time before someone pointed out, well, that's because you're benching like this. You want your wrist in line with your forearm. Now, all that said, I want you to pay attention to all the details that I said as I do a couple more reps for you. All right, hope that helps. Give it a try and let me know how it goes.